How many days have you been here? Days? I've been here about 14 years. Let me go! Let me go! Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, Leo sent me as a prelude to fear. And this 2021 film was directed by Steph DeMello and stars Lara Lemon, Jamie Langlands, and Francis Magee, among others, of course. The story of this film is about this cello player who is abducted and then imprisoned in this basement cell. There's also two other cells with two other women in it, and they are kind of casually beaten and tortured by their captor. And there's also this um, police story where they have to like solve who is this abductor and whatnot. But what will happen exactly? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. All right, so let's discuss this movie. Well, I'll come right out and say it. I think this is a good bad movie. So there's going to be good things and bad things that work together to have this good badness about it. So what is good about this film? Well, I gotta say the premise of it where, you know, anyone can be abducted at any time and disappeared and, and held against their, wheel, their will. I thought that was so fearful. It definitely put some fear into me. I don't get, you know, scared too often with these movies, but this one, I definitely felt fear for, for the characters. And so that engagement was something that was very unexpected, but very good for sure. In addition, the lighting was pretty good. It's all kind of like this backlit stuff. Um, I was kind of wondering where the light was coming from, but you know, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, but yeah, all the, all of the lighting definitely gave it kind of like this dungeon atmosphere. I also thought the dialogue was pretty good for the most part. Um, there were some times where I was like, that's, that's not working for me, but for the most part with the main character, yeah, all her dialogue was, was pretty good as well. And so with the good also comes the bad. So what doesn't work with this film? Well, this set, it does play like a big part in, in the movie itself, but this dungeon set looks really kind of corny and cheesy. Like it looks like I could kind of like tear it apart with my bare hands. And there's always like light coming in from the back. And I'm like, where is this light coming from? I thought this was a basement. So uh, that was also strange. One part of it is just like a plastic room as well. And you're just like, come on. And they're always like talking to each other, like through this wall as well. And so you never even see some of the characters. Um, and again, like the set is bad, but then good things are happening. Like I was really intrigued by all the other girls in, in the, in the dungeon because you never see them. You only hear them. And so, you know, the set might be bad, but good things are happening on it. So, you know, take it what it is. In addition, all of the acting is way over the top, but it's done in like this unironic way where like. They're all trying really hard, but none of them are recognizing that they are, you know, over the top. So it might be bad acting, but it's also good acting. Another quality of this movie is that sometimes silly things just kind of happen. Like this captor, he's trying to like intimidate this one girl. So he starts like smashing a watermelon with a machete. I'm just like, well, I, I guess that's something. What else? Oh, it turns out this captor has Alex Jones in his basement. Sarah Andrews, Joanne Cox, Alex Jones. He killed them. I'll prove it. And if you don't know who Alex Jones is, you're a lucky person. He is this conspiracy theorist in the USA. So he is quite a crazy person. And uh, wait, where is Alex Jones? Is he in a basement? Or is that part of the theory? A film theory. And that brings me to who I would recommend this movie for. Well, I think if you're a horror fan, you can definitely check this one out. If you're also into good bad movies, that's even better. As for rating, I gotta give it the good bad score of 4.5. And having said that, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.